Hi everyone, so in this video we will explore Leonardo A for video creation. A couple weeks ago I created the short film and I was pretty happy with the result. I was using only Leonardo A. You can check this uh, short film or trailer, anyway, doesn't matter how you call it, and link in the description. So in this video I will share some tips and tricks that you can use to create your own videos. So Leonardo AI is not text to video generator, so you have to first using the text prompt create the image and then you can animate the video up to 4 seconds long. For now you cannot extend it like for 8 seconds or 12 seconds like you can do in for example runaway email, but maybe it will be improved in the future. But anyway you, you can achieve some good detailization, you can achieve continuity. So the process is pretty straightforward, so it doesn't require any technical skill. Let's start with some basic, we are in the Leonardo AI, now we go to the section to image generation. Here we put some basic prompt, woman holding a gun cyberpunk style. So he, we will cover these parameters later, basically I want this photorealistic, so I Choose the Leonardo Photo Real, Cinematic, then the input resolution is the highest one I can choose from here. Some of these options will are not available in the free version. And then we click Generate. We'll probably have to wait maybe one minute or more. Also, we can make two more, I think, up to six more generation at the same time. It will be different result, even with the same prompt. And then I suggest you to read this prompting tips and tricks directly from Leonardo. I don't see too much sense to repeat all, all that you can read here because it's very, very useful information. So first of all, I will explain very basic wor workflow and then we will move to advanced one. So as you can see, we have our first result. So I like this one. And then uh, if you want to, to make video from this, we just click here, generate motion video. So this is the ba very basic workflow. Then we move to uh, one advanced one. And then you, we have some, one, only one parameter basically. Maybe it will be improved in the future, but for now it's only one parameter, it's motion straight. And then if you want uh, to have this image private or public. So motion straight, it's very, straightforward so one is less motion and ten is uh, like more motion but it doesn't work sometimes at all in most cases it doesn't work so it's hard to tell which motion it's used for for the image so in this case it's just the way of experiment so it, it, i have some experience in this so i would say that if it's mid shot so probably four or five will will make the good job so we click generate and we wait one minute or more, sometimes up to two minutes. And then we will cover the like more advanced uh, workflow. So we copy the prompt and then we go to universal upscale. So we will upscale this image as for the highest quality possible. And after this, we will animate it. So we take the image. Um, I used to choose cinematic, but honestly don't see too much different, maybe in small details. As you can see, uh, upscale images will burn you like 110 tokens, which is quite a lot. So use it wisely, I would say, to not burn all your tokens. And then there are also, also small tips, prompt, prompt guidance, when you can just type uh, the same prompt. I would say that it gives some difference and very small details, but in general, I don't see too much difference at all. So, and then we click, click upscale. So we'll have to wait maybe one minute, minute or more. So our first upscale is ready. As you can see, we can achieve pretty good utilization. And then we do the same. We go here, create motion from the video. And then we choose the same parameter and we click generate and wait some more time. 
let's compare the results so first we didn't use the uh, universal upscare which is pretty nice and here we use it so we have a different motion and see we and we have like face more more de detail in some cases the difference is very very noticeable so let's say we need to know which kind of motion level is good for so in this case one of the tips is just experiment and then go from 1 to 10 so we click 1 then we go again we click 2 we go again we click 3 we do same process for the 10 images so we have our first level of motion second third so in this case it probably didn't work well because the idea that they basically hit each other so for this kind of thing we have to if it didn't work with motion so we we'll probably will have to create more and more images and experiment yeah it will burn a lot of tokens but it's something that we cannot avoid let's say if we have some kind of close up this is already upscaled with universal upscale and we want to uh, let's say she blink in her eyes in this case what we can do we just can use image to motion and choose one or two but let's start with one and then let's try let's try two as well so until we wait our uh, generation so then let's say you say you want to animate this kind of what is called establishing shots or master shots for example for this kind of shots what we can use we can use four and five and actually the uh, leonardo ace works pretty well with this kind of shot so let's choose maybe five and then we can use this shot we maybe also choose five as well and then we try this one and we choose maybe four and let's see the result in a couple of minutes so here uh, let's see this one was in three this was one in two and this was one and one and as you can see we have some cool ice blinking but sometimes i mean it's not like a rule that you can have to also always choose one so it's could work with two maybe it's not gonna work with one and then let's see what we have with this factory for example here we didn't achieve the movement of the camera so maybe we have to try six or seven but here it worked pretty well but the movement is a bit uh, i don't know not, don't like too much this movement maybe we can go with four and this one worked pretty well with four so basically if I would uh, continue doing it, I, I would go. I would go here with six, maybe with seven, and here with four, and then you test, test, and experiment. So this is also one of the cases that I think is interesting. So I wanted to create the video when the water actually comes inside the, win the window. So I started to use the parameter and i think i tried them all and finally only one parameter worked i think it was six or seven so it means if you put eight or nine or ten it doesn't mean that it will work the, in the same way or will give you like more more motion so it's always interesting to experiment and see what uh, you can get in this part we will talk a bit more about the prompt generation how you can improve your prompt if you are run of ideas uh, first of all as i mentioned before read uh, uh, proper articles from uh, leonardo ai and then you can start with basic prompt i will generate uh, the image with basic prompt just so you can see the difference and then let's use just this simple uh, prompt generator you it should be up to 20 characters so it should be some basic prompt and you click 
improve prompt. And then now we have our prompt based on our based prompt. And then we generate the image. So I would say that sometimes it's work much more better that you can even imagine. So you maybe you can be good in prompt engineering, but artificial intelligence in many cases do it much more better. In this fighting uh, scenes, I use the same process. So first I uh, write like Samantha, right? Cyborg. Uh, she's inside uh, cyberpunk's cyberpunk style, and then she's inside abandoned industrial building. So this is like a basic prompt. Then I click this prompt and see what I get, and then I click in pro prompt, and it gives good result. And the next one, what we can use if, if we like totally run of idea and we don't know what we want, we can go directly here to prompt generation. We enter our basic prompt and we click idea. Now we have four different prompts Then we, we can click one, two, and this is our results. First, second, third. And fourth, we will still have to wait. As you can see, they use basic prompt, basic, basic concept, but it gives you totally different styles and different characters. And these have unlimited possibilities. You can use the same prompt and then use it again, again, and again. Another cool feature that I would like to share is image guidance. Image guidance basically when you use the image, any image, as the image prompt. You can use any image or image of yourself, or you can take one from internet. Just be careful with the copyright because some uh, stock website clearly clearly saying the rules that you cannot use their stock image, uh, like to train the AI model or something like this. So just be careful. Anyway, it's not the problem because. You can always use your own image or you can use, um, you can generate the image and then use this image as image prompt. So let's have a look. We write the prompt and then we go to image guidance part. I don't know if it's uh, available in the free version. And then we choose the, we can choose our, our generation. So the images that we generated. And then we look our image. Finally, I found the image of our soldier that we will use as image prompt for the posture. So we upload it here and then we choose post to image. And we click generate. I used to do a couple of generation in the, in the same time. See what will bring better results. And this is our result. So as you can see, it worked pretty well. And here is exact posture that we have on the our image, image prompt. And this part, let's talk about the continuity of the character. You will probably not gonna achieve the 100% of the continuity but at least you can try or at least you can achieve the the camera the character in different shots will look at least similar uh, leonardo i don't have doesn't don't have this functionality when you can click some button and say okay make make this similar so in this case what you can do is give your character some name mm, let's say in this case it will the name I give it was Edward Hartford. And then you can use the same name in all the prompts. And then if you uh, get lucky enough, so you may have this, uh, you may achieve the, the character will look similar. You will probably have to spend a lot of a lot of generation, so you probably have to generate more and more and more. So you're not getting it maybe from the first time, the second time, a third time. So maybe you have to make like 
10 generations and then take from them some uh, shots that will satisfy you. And this part, let's talk about the limitations of AI. As you can see that one character cinematic shots works pretty well. But when you want your characters interact with, with each other, like for example, for the short film, my idea was the cyborgs actually hit, hit each other. So in most of the cases, it was unachievable. So if I put like a lot of uh, like less motion like one two three four so it's nothing happened and then if i say okay maybe i'll put up to eight nine ten so maybe they will hit and then it starts with the mess sometimes we have we can achieve something look like a hit and maybe we can speed it up and have some kind of effect but we have to spend a lot of a lot of generations so even if AI will take our jobs, hopefully if this is not gonna happen very soon. And then the firearm, for me, it was the biggest disappointment. I tried tens, maybe more prompts to try actually get this firearm, get this gun like shoot. And then I only had this fire. So as you can see in these videos, there is still a lot a lot of to improve.